So I have a build tax sheet on my 3D printer, or my little 3D printer, I guess, the Wanha Duplicator i3, and it's great. Everything sticks to it amazingly. And it's not too hard to get off, but it, I guess it's a little hard to get off. But mostly everything sticks to it, and that's really great. The problem is that they're not that cheap, and I have to replace it every so often because everything sticks to it. So after a while, it'll kind of build up and get scratched, and things don't stick to it as well. So you gotta replace it. And I don't like spending money, so I wanted to use a glass bed, like the glass bed that came with my uh, Creal V CR10 S5 over there. But I can't get anything to stick to a flat piece of mirror. Now the good news with a piece of mirror is that uh, for the S5, which is a 16 by 16 plate, it was $7 for this glass piece of mirror, I guess. And the, the Duplicator i3 is like 8 by 8 that was four dollars. Four dollars! And it's mirror, so you don't have to mess with it really. You can clean it with a razor blade, you can clean it with acetone, doesn't mess it up. All good, but if you can get something to stick to it, uh, you know, that's the point, right? So, how do you do that? Well, I came across a thread on Reddit or something like that that said use PVA glue. PVA glue? Wait a minute. That's just like Elmer's white glue. Check this out. So I have this big old tub of Mod Podge from when I was sealing my foam build for the Batman vs Superman armor. This is PVA glue, it's just white PVA glue. So check this out, you can just brush it on and stuff sticks amazingly to the glass bed. bed. So even though this glass bed was like four dollars, I have it you know, stuck down to the, uh, the bed over that build pack sheet. And I cleaned it really well with alcohol, and that's why it's kind of light right there. Uh, and still, nothing really sticks to it. And that's a problem. So, here's my sanded mirror. All I'm actually doing is just brushing on a layer of the glue on the bed. And then, it's drying on its own. And when it dries, it's actually not... Here's a... When it dries cool, it's not really sticky. It's just kind of smooth and funny feeling. But after I, I coat this whole thing, I'm going to heat it up. So right now, I've got both printers uh, going up to uh, 60 degrees with the bed. And the big one takes a lot longer. But I only put on one coat, so it's not going to take forever to dry. And, and it's actually mostly dry. But it's not even about the dry. I mean, the glue will dry. What you're trying to do is when it heats up, you want to feel it to see if it gets tacky or not. And the good news is it will. And then while I'm waiting for those to heat up, I just clean off my brush so I can use it again because it's just glue. It cleans up with water. And I don't want to have to use a different brush every time. Okay, so check this out. So it is heated up to uh, what, 60 degrees Celsius and it's all just kind of clear. Now, now, look at that first layer. It's perfect. And even the support areas stuck perfectly. I always have the most trouble with supports on anything. That is what is set down. So, there's your solution. Use glue. Alright, so this print was a little hard to get up because it was really on there. But look at that glassy finish. So now I'm just gonna add another little layer of glue right there and get going again. Um, anyway, use glue. Follow me on Instagram for any updates. Um, I'm gonna finish these prints. They're actually the Batman vs. Superman grenade gun that Batman used. Uh, so once I get that all together, I'll be posting another video, of course. And. Thanks for watching. And if your wife would make fun of you for, you know, seeing you do this, then you should probably subscribe. And, you know, Facebook it, Twitter it, tweet it, you know, all that cool stuff, right? So if it's dark and it's night, then you'll want to check out this sort of stuff again, right? Oh, hey, thanks for watching.